demonstration of the free uh, advanced HDM HMI uh, <clears throat> code for uh, Visual Basic for Visual Studio. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate it with a Logix 5000 uh, PLC Allen Bradley. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is download it. So I'm going to skip that and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. <clears throat> there it is there, advanced HMI. I will uh, extract it. <clears throat> and I'll copy it, uh, extracted folder into my documents. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> it's the most recent version. Okay, there's the solution file. I'll fire that up, and that'll fire up Visual Studio. I've got Visual Studio 2000. Uh, first thing you have to do is go find the Solution Explorer right at the top and then scroll down and find mainform.vb. Open that up <coughs> and that's your main screen. Uh, for now it just gives you a little bit of instruction on here in a label. You can delete that. I might as well delete it right now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to build the project, add a driver for communications. <clears throat> set the properties where we just more or less have to give it the IP address because I'm going to use Ethernet IP. Um, then we add a visual control and so on. So I'll build it now. Build. <clears throat> build succeeded. Okay, so now I'm going to get the com. Okay, next thing you got to do is view toolbox. View toolbox. Okay, and scroll to the top, and those nice looking purple controls are for advanced HDMI. HMI. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this now. So, first thing we want to do is get the COM component. So, we scroll down into the COM drivers, and we want Ethernet IP for control logics. That's what that stands for. So, we'll drag that on. <clears throat> then we have to configure it properties. Now, um, Oh, I guess I should show you the PLC first. Let's go look at the PLC that we're using. Okay, here's the PLC. I've got Logix running, uh, Logix 5000 running. I've got two timers that are just counting up to 10. Mark timer and mark timer 2. And those are uh, controller scoped tags. <coughs> so you can see it counting. So mark timer 2 counts up to 10,000 and then mark timer 1 counts, mark timer counts up to 10,000. So, um, uh, just to show you the network, uh, who active. Uh, this is mine. It's 10.50.60.212 is the address. And you notice that my controller is in slot 2, and that's important to know. Okay, so now let's go back to advanced HMI. <coughs> so, we have to set both the ad IP address, and that was uh, 10.50. 50.60.212 and the um, processor slot was slot 2 so that's got to be changed okay and that's that now we can uh, drag a panel meter over and I think I'm gonna stop the video and then restart it again okay that worked fine so now I'm going to uh, let's make this a little bigger so I can see it. Get rid of this. I'm going to grab a panel meter, digital panel meter, and put it onto the workspace anywhere and uh, resize it. Big enough, okay, and I'll copy and paste that one to a second panel meter. So those will demonstrate my uh, two accumulators as they count up. So I'll right click on here and pick properties. <coughs> And all I have to do is scroll down to where it says PLC address value and type in the name of my tag and it was called marktimer.acc and there we go. And this one here was marktimer2.acc. And now we're ready to go I think. Let's have a look and if I run it, it should work. Cross your fingers. There we go. There's the timer 2. There's the timer 1 counting up. Counts up to 10. 
up to 10,000. And the bottom one. Using Control Logix 5000. And one more thing, let's say I wanted to actually write some program code to interact with my uh, with my PLC tags. Um, so I'm going to drag a button. Like, okay, so I'm going to scroll down and drag a button, a regular Windows Control button. And I'll grab a label. And I will just, uh, I'm going to program the button to fill in the label with the timer from the um, from the timer accumulator. So here's my button action. So I have to type my label, label one dot text is equal to, and then I have to specify my PLC uh, Ethernet IP for yeah dot read. And in here, I just put the string of my tag. And so now, when I click on the button, hopefully it will read my, um, my tag and apply it to the label. Let's make sure I have the label. Is oh, it's actually label 2, isn't it? Yeah, label 2. So I got the wrong label. It's label 2.txt. There we go. Much better. Okay, let's try running that. There's my timers counting, so when I click on the button, it fills in the label, click, 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 with the current value of the, um, of the timer. So, you know, I could do whatever I want with that. I could send it to another machine. Um, the point is, is that I'm able to programmatic programmatically <laughs> uh, interact with the uh, with the um, PLC with uh, free HMI software.